one on a car guy, one on a car guy.com, and we're gonna kind of do a cold start diagnostic type video. I've got this here 88 Pontiac GTA, nice car, hard top, all that, really clean, 45,000 original miles. We put a fuel pump in it and got it running, but now it's not running exactly right. The wires look fresh and they look nice and fresh. Um, no way to tell how old they are. We found this and Check it pointed out how bad this was. I mean it This thing sucks like a Vegas. Yeah, you can fill in the blank there. So basically I'm Gonna kind of fire it up and get it running when I brought it over from the shop next door I noticed it kind of ran like poo-poo if you put your foot into it And you don't want it to run like poo-poo when you put your foot in it <laughs> Start right up, 40, almost died out there, 41,000 original miles. I'm gonna let it die if it wants to. It died, just like that. So maybe somebody can throw up in the comments, air, fuel, and spark, man. It's gotta be air or fuel. It just doesn't seem sparky to me. I'm gonna try to let the car warm up. Sounds like a Cessna. And a Cessna GTA. Wow. I should honk the horn while he's that. That's cold. Put it under a load and it just kind of does not go. It won't even catch. I've got it floored right now. It would catch if I feathered it. I'm not going to get on it too much here. Plenty of oil pressure. Let my foot off the seat. Does it idle? Idle down, idle down. Keep going, keep going, Bessie. That's floored. Well, I'm not going to keep it floored. Man, it could be exhaust. Anything sucking together or no? No, 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 I checked to make dirt nothing fall through anything. Could be exhaust. Catalytic converter or something. Can you hear that? Yeah. Like oxygen. Yeah, and it's only running about 3,500 RPM. There's no smoke or nothing, is there? On the back. Oh, no, there was nothing. No exhaust smoke? If it'll idle now. Well, this thing idle. All the quacker cracker. Ah, yeah, it is. It's a quacker cracker. Don't, don't ever, ever push this button. That's back when you used to have your cell phone in your car. Sorry if I got your finger there. I didn't see you was on it still. I was hoping it would rev a little faster. I say let it warm up for 15, 10 minutes and make sure it don't get hot. I mean, I don't I don't see how it could be spark. It seems pretty sparky, even though we can take a plug out and look at it. No, no, it seems, it seems like it's oxygen and the gas. You know, the mixture is It could be a vacuum. Or Already, huh? What timing? Pretty hot already. That's what? I only had this going for four minutes. It ain't been running that long of it. Maybe three. That seems odd. It's not hot, hot. Huh? Oh, we'll let it run. This don't even collapse none, does it? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't like that at all. I don't like this. There ain't no air going through this, man. Can you shut it off? Yeah. Ha ha ha! Watch it.
Can you turn it off to where I get a video of it? And it started to where it sucked right in, didn't it? It blew out. Well, come here, look at this. I'm gonna do it again for you. Watch right there. You tell me. You hold that for a sec. You tell me. Make sure you can see that. Did it blow back out? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And did it make a sound? A little yeah, bit? And then as soon as you started it, it, it goes. Okay, you started it, started and do it to where I get both on camera. That's cool. Well, I mean, it's not cool. It's why my car's broke, I think. Right, right. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm ready. And this here is going to collapse. Look at these two. Boom, just sucks it right in. <laughs> Cut it off. Blows it right back out. So I believe that's the problem. And since this only comes from a smog line. Wow. Yeah. That sure hooks into a weird kind of thing there. Look at the tube that comes out of the other end of that. Don't pull on it too hard though. It's kind of weird. Hello? I've never seen that kind of tube. It's good. What can I do for you? Come on, man. Come on, man. You called the number. What can I do for you? What call are you, car are you calling about? What's up? Um, anything you want me to find I can do for a $500 deposit? It takes um, four to eight weeks, depending on what kind of car it is. What are you looking for? I'm going to start it, Chuck. Look out. <laughs> Yeah, I see them go through for sure. Uh, so, yeah, if you get ready or something, let me know. $500 deposit, I'll find it within about a month or two. And I do low mile stuff, and if I don't find it or whatever, I'll give you your money back. If I find it, we'll get it, we'll do it to it. Man, I go all over the place. I go to all kinds of auctions. Yeah, man. All over. But all my stuff comes from Southern California. Not right, cool. Okay. Yeah, call anytime. I can find it. When you're ready, when you're ready, I'll put my secretary in touch with you. She'll send you some paperwork, send you a PayPal thing, and do it. Okay. Okay, I'm out here. I'm out here working on a car. When I get done in here, I'll have her call you this afternoon when I talk to her. What's your name, sir? Steven. Okay, and you're probably looking for a nice, clean, you know, 80 to 120 thousand mile Fleetwood, right? Okay, that's that's basically what I'm finding. You know, you find some that got like 230 on it or something. The seats are all wore out. And I just am not looking for that. And sometimes I'll find a cream puff with like 40, 50 thousand. But at that point, sometimes the the price just goes so high, I walk away because you've got a retail buyer there. It's some retail buyers they don't care. Hook it back up. Hook it back up. Wow, yeah, there's some people, the, the couple of the old men have let loose of them or something, or died, probably died. <laughs> yeah, they'll get, they'll get, they'll get, they might get five figures for something like that. Okay, I gotta go work on this car. I will have Samantha call you a bit later, sir. And one more time, your name, I'm sorry. That's right, Stephen. Okay, Stephen, this is a good number for you, right? Well, whatever you call from here, yeah, 1686. Okay, sounds good, Stephen. I'll have Samantha call you. Okay, thank you, sir. Talk to you soon. It seems to run better. 
seems to run better with the fucking cable on collapsing. Don't it? So it has something to do with the smog thing, and it's probably pumping air somewhere else and pushing it somewhere else. Who knows? Not me, that's for sure. So, it makes me think that replacing... Does this one collapse? No, that one does not collapse. It's just that... Uh, there you go. I was just checking that. Do you know what's in Residual. Do you know what's in here? Wow! It's an air filter of some sort, I think. Yeah, it's the air filter access. Wow, it's like an air induction. It takes it in here, I think. And now I'm going to have to see if my other one has that. Wow, Camaros I don't think had this, and regular Trans Ams, you had to get a GTA to get this box, I believe. If not, I think it just had the filter, but I'm not 100%. Somebody mentioned that on that vlog where everybody wanted to talk shit. See, and there's not any in here, really. And this ain't bubbly or nothing. See, maybe he'll know just by looking. Um, as long as it don't get hot, I'm just going to leave it running for a while to work and burn all that stuff off. Well, I'll tell you what, one person can't diagnose something like that and see what it's doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just a lot. No, it would have been harder to find. Um, okay. It sucks straight in. There's a, it's got a butthole in it or a butt crack. And I didn't notice it at first. I didn't think that much. And I think it's sucking too, huh? Hook at, that's where you hook up your nitrous. I think it actually could be. Would be an inflow. Not where I want to want it. Batteries at three percent. I don't believe that because it was cranking the car. Huh. Um. So I'm going to assume that one's bad, and I better get this guy a new battery. I didn't know if you knew or not, but I, I'm a race car driver. I have no damn clue. I find mine, I'll tape it on. got the batteries out, I got the windows rolled up, and the hoods are not all the way left. Down. I like that. That's. We need to get this fuel pump. If you could call her and tell her we need to figure out where the cheapest fuel pump was so where you and me can go pick it up, I'll get stuff ready. I'll be right back. Okay. To the detail store. Yo! Whose? My number? For her. Why? For, for 642 Is that yeah. hers? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, straight to voice is that her? Say, hey, I'm in stuck in the voicemail. Help, let me out. Let's go to the store then. I think we get back, we'll let it run a while. Not even getting warm. Perfect. I think it just needs to run. Burn some of the carbon out of the exhaust. It was running a lot better before we left. Wasn't running hot either. Fuck, it even sounds better, don't it? I still think I should replace that. Yeah. Or just show people. I don't know. Okay. That bumper's screwed up. It ain't coming clean. You notice that washing it, huh? Yep. It's not the oddest thing, too. Um, out here... You can tell right away. Perfect, we can still do it. This shit's mean. It don't take much. 
And it just kind of gets any of the... It's fine, Mrs. Spare to wipe it down. Just making it look good, yeah. Um, so I'll kind of show you the three little things of this step. This, obviously, is pretty simple. Um, windows, same stuff. Oh, you use the same stuff? Yeah. Okay. And then I got to make sure, like this, tonight it's going to look really bad. Really, really bad. And this has had some stuff put on it to make it shiny. And if it gets on your rag, it'll smear places. Okay. Is that just all outside? It is. Well, it's a little inside. That's going to show up a lot. I just kind of want to make stuff look good. Make sure stuff looks good. And I'm thinking it does. I don't think there's any vacuuming. Just kind of be thinking that this is the last detail. And if we washed it, you know, door jams could have some drips or that's the main thing on that. Because, I mean, I'm showing somebody it and that's exactly what I don't want to see. There you go. Okay. And it takes a couple times of looking through something. It'd be easier with the window down, but you know, you know. I didn't do this window yet. And you could tell. Jeez. Wow. Something on that. Yeah, this seems like a film, huh? Yeah. Means that probably last time I had him wipe it down, he wiped this stuff onto this stuff. Just be careful of those handles. You can see how I'm going to have to touch this stuff up a little, too. Mm. Um, but that's it. Um, can you pop the hood? <sighs> okay, I got a, a bigger problem. Look under here with me. This is going to take like three minutes, but it takes a little more longer to set it up. Bro, I can't sell it with that bar with oil all over it. Yeah. I can't sell it with that oil all over that, no oil all over that. And then dude was told to clean that, and it can be hit with a power washer so quick it's pitiful. Uh, that's the kind of stuff where we spray that degreaser on it first, let it set, even hit it with a brush if we have to. But I mean, from here over and stuff, I got to get that to looking better. It's just power washer work. Um, this thing meant to look under the back. It's got a little leak in the fuel line. Yeah, I think, and I think that's why it runs like shit. Because it takes so much high pressure. Yeah, pressure. I really, really, really would like to get it running. And it ran. And like, then that. And if it is that, just that. But it's a high pressure line. So I don't know how to. Hmm. And the wheels. The wheels are big to get with the pink stuff without getting the armor all. You know what I mean? Fucking spiders are fast around here, dude. Yeah, the chrome there on the wheels. With the pink. Yes. Okay. I've already put it up and taken it down once. You smell the gas too? A little bit, yeah I do. Yeah, if it's running you smell it even worse. It's under that thing right there. I've already put it up in the air a couple times. But, yeah, look at that, it's been leaking. Yep. It started leaking when I, that's exactly why it ain't running, dude. I'm, I need to, we need to jack it up and look at it. I'm gonna try and start it. Fucking A, dude. So, hopefully, it's a, the fitting's loose. Now it won't even give it no fuel. It's got the ASR code. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. It's leaking? It's pouring. Thank you. No, well, that's the problem. The gas won't even work, so the computer sees the problem and won't let it give it no gas. Almost guaranteed. 
soft and it's still dripping, but it was a steady, steady fucking drip. Yeah, it's a pressurized thing, so it'll take it a minute to bleed off. Yeah, I like the idea of looking at this before. There's just no way I want to. Oh, it's easy to disclose, you know, but at the same time, it's probably only a hundred dollar hose. Yeah, right. Only. Yeah, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna do this with you. Just grab a jack and we'll do it right now. Yeah, exactly. I hate the new stuff. Like, I don't know. I had to look up stuff on these. In fact, I looked it up and they were wrong on YouTube. Really? Yeah. Well, you got you got to figure. This is how you jack these up. You take this off, and your jack has a little metal rod, and you shove the rod in there and just jack it up. Really? Yeah. But on a bigger thing, you can look right here and see what it takes. Flat piece. Yeah, flat piece here. No, it's actually the whole fucking ass end mount. Swing arm or something I think it'll be called? I don't know. They already got a pre-built jack on these then, right? If you use the... They got a what? A pre-built jack on these. They come with a jack, yeah. But that'll work right there. Okay. You want to pull that out of there? I sure hope that was the right spot. Yeah, it was. Okay. I like that spot, don't you? That looks like it's, yeah. Really nice. Can I get one more click out of it? I think so right there. Oh, I was... I one more right there. Perfect. Is that too high or no? Right. I like it. Do we need it that high? Move her my fat ass on her hair. <laughs> okay. As long as it holds up, we're good. Here. Yeah, I got it. Looks pretty cool. Oh, after. I might. Yeah, get that under the other side, too. Look. You think? I mean, I guess I'm not even going to jack that side up. Drop it down. It's going to drop right down. This is your Baby Jake's good. Okay, get out of there. Go ahead. Okay, whoa, 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 Mr. Jack. Okay, I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the jack tight on it too. I'm Mr. Double Safety. It's hard to breathe with a car on top of the chest. Dude, it is, and you know that thing is like, like if there's not if you if I if you got a minute or two to look out the window or door, it's just a long time to sit there without being able to say, Yo! Yeah, I can't breathe. Can you give me a hand? <laughs> okay. The... Yeah, I'm Mr. Triple Safety now. That's fine. You can say that. Now, hey, I'd rather be Triple Safety than my one-hand crawler. <laughs> cool, I'm under there. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Yeah, all right. Okay, it's that cover right there. That needs to come off. That comes off and you'll see everything. Okay. Okay. And honestly, you shouldn't even have to start it. When you turn on the key, it'll it should, pressurize, it pressurize the system and piss it off. off. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to see what we got underneath there, Nathan. Boom, boom. <laughs> you come out and have the drive line off, muffler, transmission. 
See, look, this is an awful expensive car. It is. And there is no, there is no bar going from the back axle to the front like there is in that GTA. Mm -hmm. However, would you look at that fucking bolts on that drive line? There's eight right. of them. Right, you'll twist that fucking drive line before them bolts come off. I think so, huh? They're pretty serious bolts, too. They are big bolts. What's it called? Don't fuck around, bolts. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bag of tools. I'm gonna start tearing shit out. Tearing shit out. Try this GTA out again. No one checked for holy shit, Marie. 27, 28 years or something. We ain't seen each other in 20. His old lady had him on timeout from all his friends. stuff is. See, I cleaned that part up even though the last part wasn't. All the code's down in there. This is an awfully nice car. I'm gonna go in and get ready with this here mur. My mur. Because I gotta get it ready for paint. A little bit hesitant, but it sounds a lot better, huh? I mean, a lot better. I mean, you ain't lying, Chuck. Sounds good. She's not really happy. It's not like it should. Damn it! Oh, there's right here. Snap picture. Damn, that turned out good, man. Look at that thing. Looks good. 